Do you want to go back to being as randy and horny as you used to be when you were 16 years old? Well, today I'm going to go over the exact science behind what dictates your sex drive. You see, a man's sex drive is one of the most important indicators of his overall health. Men should be kind of horny and on edge a little bit by default. If you aren't, if this starts to lack, if this starts to fade away, well, that is actually an early warning sign and an indicator that there is something fundamentally off somewhere in your human body system. The human body is a intricately interconnected system and people often make the mistake of thinking that different aspects of the body work in isolation where well, this is completely false when something is lacking when something is off it's usually an indication of something missing in the entirety of your body as a whole in terms of nutrition in terms of hormones in terms of lifestyle sleep all these various factors come into play in terms of dictating your overall health so to understand the male sex drive you have to understand the refractory period so what's that? Well, the refractory period is the time that men need between orgasms. That's the scientific word for that recovery period that you need between busting a nut and being able to get hard and go again. Now, there have been some studies done on refractory periods and exactly how long they are for different ages of men. The studies have indicated that 18 year old males tend to have a refractory period of around 15 minutes, while those in their 70s can take up to 20 hours. The average for all men sits somewhere around half an hour. Although it's even rarer, some men have no refractory period at all, or their refractory period lasts less than 10 seconds. We tend to label these kind of dudes as naturally multi-orgasmic. Surprise, surprise, they also tend to have an extremely high sex drive. And the reason for that is a hormone that gets produced in your brain called prolactin. And this is the hormone that tends to dictate your sex drive above anything else. So when you orgasm, your brain gets a dump of prolactin. And this is what causes the refractory period. This is what causes that sleepy, tired, cuddly feeling that dudes get. The interesting thing, though, is that there's two compounds in your brain, prolactin and dopamine, which have an inverse correlation to one another. When prolactin is high, dopamine is low and vice versa. When your dopamine levels are high, your prolactin levels are low. If we can manipulate and adjust the ratios of these two compounds in your brain, we can actually directly influence the male sex drive. Now, dopamine is a compound that most of you will have heard of before. It's responsible for passion, enthusiasm, ambition, these kinds of feelings. So when that is really high or higher than normal or at a naturally balanced state, you will find that you will have a much, much higher sex drive. And then when that prolactin is nice and low or in a reasonable level, you will find that you won't have these more lethargic, slow, and also kind of feminine feelings because they, they have found that guys with high levels of prolactin tend to exhibit more feminine traits as well. Now, obviously, testosterone also plays a role in the male sex drive. So if you've also got low levels of testosterone, you're going to have less ambition, lower drive, lower motivation. That desire to hunt, shall we say, when it comes to pursuing women is going to be much, much lower. So optimized testosterone levels are going to increase your sex drive. So we're looking at three things mainly here. We're looking at testosterone levels, dopamine levels, and prolactin levels. These are the three key hormones we want to optimize in order to make sure that our sex drive is a 10 out of 10. What are some things that you can do today to start improving the balances of these hormones and to optimize your sex drive? Well, getting out in the sunlight a lot more, getting high quality levels of sleep, competing in competitive sports and combat sports, competing around other dudes will naturally raise your testosterone and increase your dopamine as well, by the way. Play, so getting out and having engaging in fun activities with like-minded men, that could be anything, by the way, that could be hiking, that could be playing sports, that could be a variety of different things, but that play element is very, very vital to us as human beings, as tribal animals. We kind of need that. And that's where you'll find you'll get that nice kick of dopamine as well. Also, being around women and flirting with women. Doesn't mean you have to sleep with them. Doesn't mean you have to cheat on your partner. If you're in a committed relationship, that's fine. But just being around women will also naturally boost your testosterone levels, especially if they're rather attractive women. If you would like a way to reduce the prolactin levels in your bloodstream and raise those dopamine levels as well, optimizing your sex drive, making yourself 
like that 16 year old you used to be who got a boner in geography class for no reason. You're going to want to check out my brand new supplement, Fire. It is my libido booster under my Clubhouse supplements range. Check it out. It's in the link in the description down below. And if you want to learn how to take care of your hormones, manage your stress levels, and generally optimize your health, then I suggest you watch this video right over here where I walk you through six masculine self-care steps for a perfect recovery day.